Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rohit Kumar, your host on Click Digest, and this is my hands-on and first impression of the Geoni eLife S7. I'm not gonna give you a review video here because I have just seen the device, so I'm giving you my first impressions. I've got to know this device up close, and uh, it looks pretty good in hand. It feels very nice, and the thickness of this phone is just 5.5 millimeters, and the camera does not protrude out of the body, which is a USB. In fact, uh, most slim phones that you have in market, except for Geoni ones, have protruding cameras, but this is really super slim. It's a very compact phone besides having a large 5.2 inch display. Although you may not reach far corners of the screen, but still it is comparatively easy to use it with one hand because you can still reach the keyboard while you are typing. It's a 5.2 inch AMOLED high definition display which looks very sharp and the viewing angles are also very good. In terms of design and build, it is fairly sorted. It uses metal frame all around and it uses Gorilla Glass 3 at front as well as bottom. There are no on bezel buttons, the buttons are provided on screen and it runs Android Lollipop right out of the box. So you have later versions of software or newer version of software and on top of it, it runs Amigo UI which is uh, Gioni's on custom skin on top of uh, Android Lollipop which seems to be breezy and fast here. In terms of specs also, it is fairly loaded, it comes with an octa-core CPU at 64-bit 1.7 GHz, octa-core CPU comes with 2 GB of RAM and there is 16 GB onboard storage. It comes with uh, only one SIM tray here and there is nothing else which opens up there is no expandable memory this time and you can put two sim cards and both are capable of running 4g networks you can put ftd tdd sim so it will run on any 4g network across the world on multiple bands it is a well sorted phone when it comes to connectivity it has bottom firing speakers the 3.5 mm audio jack is also at the bottom the primary microphone hole there is sim tray here on top there is nothing except for the antenna band and on the right hand side you have the volume rocker as well as the power or wake up key the design of this frame is also very interesting it's a u-shaped frame which you can see from this angle there is a groove which is for two reasons one is that it improves the grip on the phone and the second is that it improves the structural rigidity so it will not bend i can put some pressure here but it will not bend like an iphone 6 plus does if you apply too much pressure because this groove gives it uh, extra bending strength if you have uh, studied about uh, materials or trns you would know that but it is fairly strong when it comes to structural rigidity talking about the camera performance it comes with a 13 megapixel rear and an 8 megapixel front facing camera and this is a selfie i've just taken a few moments back and you can see that it comes with good details and the color clarity also comes nice these are some sample pictures that i have taken with the rear facing camera and they come out to be nice and i have taken it in the demo zone i'm yet to test this phone in detail so i'll be able to tell you better once i spend some more time with it so make sure you press that red subscribe button for full review of the geoni e life s7 by intellect digest so summing up this phone is fairly slim comes with a powerful set of cameras it comes with android lollipop it gives you a 5.2 inch amoled display an octa core cpu 2 gb of ram 16 gb internal memory and fast and breezy software experience so all in all it looks like a good package this is all we have on our quick hands-on if you enjoyed watching us don't forget to give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button below and for latest videos Press that red subscribe button. This is your host Rohit Kurana signing off. Thanks for watching.